I glance at the phone in my hands, its vibration ceasing as the screen darkens. Mum's name fades away, and I'm left with the echoes of a ringtone in the quiet of the garden. My name is Alex Mercer, and I'm 15, trapped in a place where the lines of my identity are as blurred as the edges of the shadows beneath the trees. This school, Greenwood Academy for Troubled Teens, promised a new start, a place to straighten out kids like me. But the methods here are as odd as they come, with a dress code that seems more like a costume than a uniform. I smooth out the creases in the skirt I never thought I'd wear, trying to reconcile the reflection in the window with the person I feel like inside. Changes have begun that I can't quite comprehend, leaving me in a state of disquiet. The phone buzzes again, a demand for my attention, for reassurance that I'm morphing into their ideal son. How could I possibly articulate this transformation, the mix of fear and a strange thrill of defiance? The school bell rings in the distance, a jarring note that slices through my contemplation. It's a reminder that I can't stay hidden in the garden forever. The rustle of leaves whispers around me as I stand up, feeling the unfamiliar swish of fabric against my legs. With each step, I move closer to the main building, to another day of whispers and sidelong glances. In Greenwood, every corridor feels like a runway, every curious stare a spotlight I never asked for. Yet, there's a part of me that's begun to move past embarrassment, to a place where I can almost embrace the absurdity of it all. They wanted to strip me of my armor, but maybe, just maybe, they've given me a different kind of shield. As I walk into class, I can feel the change in the air, the shift in the eyes that follow me. There's power in being the unexpected, in defying the norms in a place that tries to enforce its own rigid rules. I sit down, take out my books, and for a moment, I let myself smile. Because here, in the heart of confusion and change, I'm starting to understand that identity isn't just about what you wear or how you look. It's about who you choose to be, regardless of the stage you're standing on. So I'll answer the phone when I'm ready, and I'll speak my truth when the time comes. For now, I'm Alex Mercer, just a student in class, with a story that's only beginning to unfold.